Fire Force, an anime that has received a lot of hate. But you know what? I don't hate it. I kind of love it. Let's talk about that. Fire Force is set in a universe where people can spontaneously combust, turning them into fire zombies, or demons, or whatever abstract being you want to call them. Anyway, what do you do when fire zombies appear? Fight fire with fire, of course. Characters have a unique power in which they would control fire. Kind of a given, seeing that the name is literally Fire Force. The characters have three ranging levels of power. Unpowered, which means they have no ability. Second generation, which means they can control fire, but they need a fire starter of some kind. And third generation, who can both start a fire and control it, but they can only control their own fire, not somebody else's. One of the best parts of Fire Force is its animation. Every episode has a fight scene that is destined to amaze you. Think about it. This anime has 24 episodes and two seasons. And you get an awesome fight scene every episode. Imagine watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventures and every episode has a fight scene. How do you even manage to do that? The fight scenes aren't even the best part either. The sounds. This show has some of the best action sound effects I've ever heard. Every ability has sounds that make you feel the impact and force of what just hit you. A lot of anime use the same sound effects like their bargain bin special effects like you'd see in a movie with a collective budget of $30, but they don't come close to the use of sound effects in Fire Force. Their reproduction really hit the nail on the mark when it came to perfect sounds with dazzling animation to make amazing fight scenes. Another thing I like about this anime is its characters. Most of the characters have their own unique personality and ability, with some of the characters having fleshed out backstories and everything. But the characters aren't all good. Some of the bigger flaws in the anime is its horrible attempt at giving characters a sense of being. Their personalities are dry and have nothing to them. Imagine having a baby, spending 18 years for it to have no depth and have the personality of a robot, just like Demo D said. Gone are the days when authors wrote personalities and traits and then implemented those traits and associated mannerisms onto the avatar affiliated with the personality in question, thus birthing an actual character instead of lazily creating an empty husk filled with cliché. Another flaw is its copious amounts of fan service. Sometimes it feels like the characters are just Brazzers ripoffs and you're watching a horribly acted hentai that doesn't even get to the good part. I'm watching an anime, not Mankitsu happening. There can be a good execution of fan service. For example, beach episodes in any anime, especially Slam Diaries. But this is Fire Force, an anime with exceptional fight scenes and deep characters. There's no place for that here. And worst of all, they changed the opening song. Just have a listen. 